Hello everybody and welcome back to Newcastle Fans TV. We are pausing the video there to tell you about our sponsors today who are One Football. One Football is the best app out there. It really is. We use it when we're at the games. We use it also when we're on live streams because it has up-to-date pings. It tells you when Newcastle have scored. It tells you about incidents during the game. And it also you can check the app for all the stats about the games. But even better, you know what it's like over the summer. It's going to be ram-packed with transfer rumours. One Football puts all of the articles across the web into one place for you. Download it. It's free. The link is in the description. Before he's been checking up on the app, Newcastle are sitting in the Dizzy Heights, currently at ninth place. That might change over the weekend, but it's fantastic to see. Um, brilliant, absolutely brilliant performance by Newcastle. This is the last word. We're going to talk about um, the game. We've got in-game clips as well. Uh, we will look at that league table and of course we'll hear from Eddie Howe but first of all Fordy, what a deal for you? I know, I know, listen, I, I wanted to see a performance and that's exactly what I got. 3-0 away from home, Joe Linton scoring two, Pippin, Bruno putting an absolute masterclass on as well, up the max. I can't believe we're actually in ninth. Like, Mad isn't it, it's absolutely crazy. mental, it's crazy. Uh, let's take a look at Newcastle's lineup. you can see it on your screen there Fordy. There's a few changes, Lascelles come in. We're seeing Joe Litton playing up top and we're seeing Sean Longstaff getting a run out with Joe Willock coming in as well. Murphy for Almiron, quite a few there. Yeah, quite a few changes. Again, I was shocked to see Almiron get dropped after scoring the winner in the last game. But um, again, you know, Eddie's got to rotate the squad now, hasn't he? You know, we've got nothing really to play for. We're safe, safe as houses. So it's, it's now a chance for the likes of your Longstaffs to come in, the Cells to come back into the side now, Cher gets dropped and, you know, these lot are fired for their positions next season now, let's face it. Because now that we know that we're safe, we're going to rebuild now. So the ones that are on the fringe, it's now or never for them, because otherwise they won't be here next season. Yeah, there's some people that did struggle, which we'll come on to. Um, Norwich's lineup. Dean Smith has been trying to get the best out of this side. They the look, the look a bit doomed, to be honest with you. Tim Kroll obviously got a fantastic reception. But, um, he didn't milk it too much because obviously he's trying to keep... To do, really. Yeah, he's got a job to do and he doesn't want to piss off any Norwich fans. But... We'll go into the, into the first half. It was a little bit nervy, I thought, the first probably 15 minutes because we um, looked a little, little bit open, I felt. Then we gradually got better. We gave a couple of chances away early on, though, didn't we? I thought it was all right, you know. I feel like there's certain players now that are quite calm on the ball. So your dad burns. Anytime he's in defence, I'm OK. Um, Bruno, again, I'm a Bruno stand. Like, I can't <laughs> get over how... I can't believe, A, that we've actually got him, and B, just how calm and... Easy, he's on, easy going, he's on the ball. Anytime he's taken up from deep, he's looking, he's scanning, he's looking to play someone in, or he's just doing the simple things there. I think sometimes the only unnerving thing is ASM trying to do a couple more tricks than he needs to in, in dodgy areas. But apart from that, like I think we kind of dictated it. They had a couple of chances at the start, but after that, it was just all gung ho. We scored not long after Eddie Howe tweaked it because Joe Litton up top wasn't working. <clears throat> he switched to ESM up top yeah. and he switched Joe Litton I like that. I to like, the left. I like the fact that we rotate. I was watching that after you said that, I was watching that. Like, mm. that was rotating between Joe Linton and ASM. And then sometimes even Joe Willock was going up top as well. So, again, I think the idea is to rotate them three just to kind of mix up and just give their defence a bit of a headache. Great finish. Um, now it's probably defensive a little bit all over the place. Great finish by Joe Linton, curled it. Went to VAR. Were you nervous? Uh, no, because I already celebrated and you probably can see by the <laughs> scenes I had people all over me. I was trying to protect my bag and everything else. But we actually got double celebrations. Yeah. So, you know, <laughs> technically we scored four. <laughs> <laughs> steady, steady. We got a long trip home. Yeah. Um, but then, we obviously, the, fa the fans the day were just mint. I'll talk about a little bit later on with them. But yeah. we scored pretty quickly early, early after that as well. Again, Norwich defensively, you can see why they've conceded so many goals. And I thought it was offside, but I'm at the other end of the ground. But it's a, it's, it's just square to Joe Litton who's got an empty net, and it's two 0 And Joe Litton's peeling off, celebrating, coming over, and he's got, a, he's got two goals. Today. It's mental, man. As I said, like I last seen these not play in the flesh two years ago, probably even more. And Joe Linton was getting ridiculed. I was thinking, who is this guy? Like now, I'm seeing. I don't want to get too gas I was about to say well Peter but I'm seeing a, a lot better than what I was seeing before put it that way he's, he's actually looking Brazilian now and the chant you know that was chanted all throughout the game is you know it's warranted now do you know what I mean 40 yeah. million he's Brazilian Braz brilliant whatever you want to call it it's warranted now yeah he's fantastic Newcastle Gannon at half time 
2-0 up on a lovely sunny day. Every time I come now, it just seems to be sunny, but yeah, 2-0, half time. We come back out. Bruno scores. I get half the goal on footage. He comes over and there's images all over Twitter already where he's put the hat on, he's got the Brazilian flag and he's already oh. playing. Um, what a finish. It was just so, because you could see it coming as well. Like we pressed them high and then just Tim Crawl gave it away and then just, oh, that, that little dink. I said, I, well, I came for the Bruno show and I got it. I'm happy. Bruno, you signed up for my birthday. Thank you very much for that. And again, just touch of class. The fact that we've got a player like that in our squad, it's crazy. Like we, need, we just need to now build around him. Because again, if we can get players like him in his squad, we could be actually playing in Europe next season. I'm not going to lie. We could actually be playing in Europe next season. I'm clipping that up. Clip it up, mate. <laughs> if we get... Bruno S players because again I heard early Bernard what he said on your podcast yeah. saying you know if he gets was it Lucas uh, Paqueta. Paqueta in and, and like minded players like that listen we could be playing European football next season man clip it up clip it up mental absolutely <laughs> mental that we even think and you about you know it's true as well you know it's true like the way we played today, we brushed them aside. The only thing I was a bit disappointed in is that we didn't put them to the sword. If you're like a Man yeah, City... Yeah, because uh, you were saying City would go on and get yeah, four fives. Yeah, if you're a City or a Liverpool, fours, fives, showed them that we're dominant, but we kind of chilled out after three and we just started chanting for the rest of the game, didn't we? That's, that's what I wanted to come on to because after the 3-0, there wasn't much action, to be fair. There was yeah. a couple of counter-attacks both sides, but a lot of players yeah. were moved around. You've seen, obviously, uh, Matt Ritchie come on and Miggy was brought on and there was players brought on Dwight Gale even got five minutes but there's a lot of players being moved around in position because the game was won yeah. but the fans were just singing about Peter Lovenkranz oh Sholami Obey all of that <laughs> even Nicky Nicky Butt Nicky Butt got a blooming song about him <laughs> Johan Kabai did all these ex-players Bobby Robson what a legend what a legend there was just the fans just they were just enjoying themselves weren't they yeah I mean look we, we've got the opportunity to enjoy ourselves now we're nowhere near relegation we're in the dizzy heights of night We've got Bruno and, and, and Almiro on scoring worldy goals and goals of the seasons and stuff like that. ASM for being running the show. It's, only, break, it's, it's all right. It's just a, I'm it's breaking not, swings it's behind it's us. It's not a beat. It's all right. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> this guy, if I caught him on camera, I'd be running hell flower for a bee. Mate. I was a flight member <laughs> before. <didn't laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I'm sorry. I'm falling off curves now and all sorts. But Good yeah. Job, that's the time I come, right? Yeah. Um, yeah, we just got everything to be thankful for now do you know what I mean we're now looking up rather than down mm. and that's unusual for us because I honestly thought we was going down before we actually signed who we signed obviously in January so to be now looking at, at night singing about European football and all the rest of it it's crazy it's dizzy heights aren't it it is mad maybe next season for Europe who knows <laughs> but um, my favourite chant it was 55 minutes we're just oh, Ole oh, oh, could you imagine after 55 minutes we're doing Ole football I know it's just that is that's disrespectful to them in their own backyard but at the same time it's fucking banner <laughs> it is banner isn't it come on 55 minutes oh, in Ole honestly 55 minutes they're just I think because the fans were just enjoying the day out because look it's a trek to get here yeah. so whether you're from obviously Fordy's neck of the world my neck of the world it's a, it's a hike to get here but, look, um, look, we're not going to be here for a long time. Look, they're going down. We're going, well, we're staying up. We're not going to be here for a very long time. I don't even know if they'll come back up straight away. So, mm. might as well enjoy it. Nice day for it. We actually literally dominated them as well from start to finish. Probably one of the better away days that you've probably had. Definitely yeah, it's, it's up there for the, just the, the fans. But just for the day. We'll hear from Eddie Howe in a sec, but the scenes at the end, the, the, the coming over, clapping the fans back. Okay. Um, the first time in a long time the fans stayed an extra probably what up to 15 minutes probably yeah um i like things like that you know yeah what I mean? like, it's it's it's, it's anyhow talked about it he doesn't just want the football he wants the city to be embraced yeah. with the whole thing and obviously they do it at home and yes they'll be mimicked because they've got the owners jumping in and team photos there'll be team photo here today we'll enjoy it other fans won't but hey it's our club we'll enjoy it. but i want to touch upon joe Litton. you obviously talked about bruno he gets all the plaudits yeah and i said as we're walking over do you know what it is? I enjoyed that because Joe Litton, we were singing for a good two, three minutes after all the players had gone in the dressing room and he's just standing there slowly walking back and we're singing his name and he, I think he's just taking it all in, isn't he? Because he probably remembers the times when we were slating him, so again, he deserves that. You know what I mean? You've got to have, you've got to have thick skin to play for us. It's quite emotional, I thought, actually. Yeah, no, you've got to have thick skin to play for us because again, we did slate him to high I'm not going to cry, so don't worry. 
I hope not, mate. <laughs> I, I don't like people like No crying on this channel. <laughs> just happy thoughts. But it was, it was quite it was quite an emotional feeling in a good way. Yeah. Because he's taking it in thinking, you know, I've had so he much shit. That. He and deserved then he, that. Yeah. yeah, he put in a performance, put in an absolute graph today. Two goals, served the hat trick. But again, with all the stick that we've given him previously before, to now start putting in performances like that, fair play to him. Fair play to him. He deserves it. Loads of players. Let us know who's man in the match for you, lot. Bruno. Bruno for him. Um, he has Eddie Howe. Well, I think it's important for our <clears throat> uh, our standards and, and what we expect and what we demand from each other. So we knew this was going to be a very difficult game today and the start of the game was. And it wasn't really until we got that first goal that I thought we got control of the game. But full credit to the players again. Um, incredible desire to go and win football matches at the moment and a lot of confidence running through the team. So really pleased. A lot of hard work, a lot of great team spirit, great unity, um, quality on the pitch as well. Um, but yeah, so many different factors from top to bottom of the club and again our supporters today, they played a massive part in it too. I think it was a, a great moment at the end with the players giving their shirts to the supporters and I think that, that bond and that relationship has, has built since we've, since we've been here. Um, I hope that continues and because it's so fundamental to a successful football team. But I think they enjoyed watching the team today. I thought we were very good, as I said, once we'd scored and uh, a lot of creative attacking football, which is what they want to see. So that was a calm Eddie Howe, of course, but um, we can be a bit excited, you know. So we'll have a look at the league table as it stands tonight. This may change over the weekend, but we're sitting in the dizzy heights. I Ooh. think it's ninth, which is ninth. which is mad. Ninth. Which is absolutely mad. And that the league started mid-January, we're sitting in second position. Which oh, is, God. Oh. oh, it's just, it's mad because this is like really the first time, as you say, you've come through a game for a while and the first time you've seen the new ownership and it's totally different now in a good way though and I always said to you if we ever get take over people are going to think you're a plastic fan <laughs> <laughs> I always have to tell people that when people ask me especially where I'm living now it's a good feeling though isn't it yeah I know I know I was going to say when I tell people that I'm a Newcastle fan obviously I don't sound it especially with this husky voice um, I always have to say I'm a Newcastle fan before the money <laughs> I always have to get that in before the money I was there where we've had all the shite managers and shite players and Mike actually for 14 odd years I was there don't worry so it's, it's such a good feeling now because before I'll be honest I didn't want to come and watch us because if, if someone asks you goes, oh you're a Newcastle fan why are you a Newcastle well, fan well, but now it's different exactly I could be proud to say it as I said before I didn't want to come down and spend money and, and buy a ticket now I had a great day out watch my team play caught up with a mate of mine and just it's good it's, it's good it's like it's bringing that feel good factor it back it's, 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 it's great and I used to say enjoy these small moments but we're not just having small moments now we're having little bits every single week there's something that maybe it's a club are doing maybe it's a social media post maybe it's the football maybe it's one of the players or whatever it is there's always a good feel factor with Newcastle every couple of days and it's just embrace it because the good times are here and fingers crossed you know we'll have a big summer a couple of clear outs some better players to come in and get excited about the new season that's what we want it, to go to the fans and the tickets are in demand as well which is fantastic to see, but um, we're going to love yous and leave yous from a very sunny Norfolk. Brilliant, see you later everyone. Ta-da!